Hello everyone, this is Joshua Bone, playing Chips Challenge 2, uh, continuing my series of Let's Play videos. I'm going through the custom level sets that are available for the game on uh, CC Zone. Um, so this set is called Centennium 2, it's by J.B. Lewis. Um, anybody who's um, who's been in the Chips Challenge community knows J.B. is uh, uh, he's a top-notch level designer who's been uh, who's, who's done really a lot for the uh, for the original game. Um, this set is a, uh, a follow-up to he's he's got a hundred level set for Chips Challenge One, uh, which or Tile World or whatever it is that you play it on, um, called Centennium, and that's got a hundred levels of it. Uh, um, and I've peeked through the set. I definitely want to let's play it at some time. Uh, but I am trying to focus really on the Chips Challenge 2 specific uh, level sets right now. And so this is supposed to be his follow-up. Um, I know he... I, I don't know what his plans are now for this level set. I know that at the time of its making he was hoping to uh, to get it up to 100 levels as well. Um, but for right now it's only got 10 levels in it. So we'll see. I don't know what the difficulty curve is. I know at least one or two of the levels I've um, I've, I've played and reviewed before. I know I've, I've probably at least looked at all of them. Um, but I, I would say this is about a halfway blind play. Um, I know the set hasn't been updated since August 2015. It's about a year and a half old now. And um, uh, I probably haven't looked at many of them in the last year or something like that. So it should be fairly new. Uh, we'll see what it has. First level here, number one, is called Warm Up. I imagine it'll be a tutorial level of sorts. So we'll get a yellow key. Play around with sliding on ice a little bit. You know, for such a little um, Five by five grid or something like that. That actually had a, a number of choices available. That'd be too easy if it was the bottom one. Of course, it's the top. Um, so yeah, it's a nice little um, pigeonholes type design. Uh, pigeonholes was a level in the original Chips Challenge 2 set for those who uh, who may have played it. Uh, consisting of this kind of five by five grid pattern. Um, this one's really nice though. It's got it's got a lot of contrast between each of the squares. Um, yeah, so it looks like oh, I've got fire boots. That makes so if I push that. Put the tank into the trap, release the tank, that'll explode the bomb. Put the block on the trap button, and we're good to go. Okay, so this puzzle relies on the fact that monsters can go over red keys. So I like how it's teaching clone machines, it's teaching monsters and bombs, and it's teaching kind of that red key property that's probably pretty easy to forget about too. A little spook section here. Clearing dirt around the tea. We've got water and thieves. little pattern on the balls there. Well, I like this teleport section. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go up, that'll do it. And the hint tile doesn't say anything at all. I wonder if that's a an error of some sort. Okay, so if we push, yeah, I see where they need to go. Oh, come on! Come on, JB! 
All right. That, I bet you the hint tile was going to tell me what was underneath that. Um, but because there was no hint tile, I just guessed and pushed the block down where it made sense and screwed the level. Um, so I'm going to give JB the benefit of the doubt. Uh, he probably intended to warn the player about those. Chip in the corner is definitely a little bit hard to get. There it is. I could actually see that force force section being fairly challenging for a new player. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> that was real dumb. <laughs> See if I can get out of it alive. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it. I was just spamming the button. Ended up making one too many. Even though it's an easy level, I should still probably uh, pay attention. Oh, come on. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what to make of this. I was doing a Let's Play earlier of a set by H2O called Explorer's Delight, and I played the entire four hours of it I played this morning, and so I think I might just still be a little bit a little bit frazzled from that because that was that was extremely difficult. I got very frustrated. Uh, but I am going to try to uh, to think about the level this time. Okay. Got to be the block first, then the tank. And the trap button. All right, and then we need six spiders. No more, no less. So I've actually noticed when watching other people's uh, Let's Play videos, I've noticed that I seem to be way behind the curve as far as um, as far as actual gameplay ability goes on this game. Um, I don't know why that is. I, I just tend to, to fudge the moves pretty good. Uh, but I'm hoping that if I make a bunch of Let's Play videos, that that will actually um, improve my improve my reflex, I guess. I guess that's what it is. Oh, and we had one extra chip too, apparently. That's nice. Okay, so that's the exit. Oh, and then if you're willing to... Oh, if you're willing to drop some boots to, uh, to toggle the force floors, you can actually get a bonus flag. And I'm actually 
On my left's plays, I'm just going for the win, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I could see how if you dropped your uh, flippers and fire boots there, you could get the toggle doors toggling, and then you'd have to go and replay through the whole level. So that's pretty cool. Um, the next one is Christmas Tree. I vaguely remember um, playing this. So there's 38 ships, 350 seconds, and as you see, the level is shaped like an enormous Christmas tree. A lot of green and red. Green buttons not only switch green toggle walls, but they also switch green bombs and chips to their other state. They add to the chip count too. So I guess we just run around and collect all the, uh, all the ornaments that we can. So that's good to know. You can get to the other side here. Um, we've got a couple of bowling balls. Really interesting looking level. Okay, you can cross over in several places. Assuming that every red door that actually protects a chip needs to be unlocked. So it looks like I need one more pass with the green toggles. Get my bowling balls here. I suspect that uh, I suspect that I need to actually free up some blocks. That'll give me more bang for my buck. All right. So the first one lets two out, but then the second or no, because the bottom three are, are inaccessible anyway. But oh, nice. Thousand point bonus there. I think this just goes to the other side, so that's pretty nice too. That's the last chip. So I could have just used bowling balls on that if I wanted to. And that's the level. Pretty awesome. Next one's called Round Trip. I'm going to be actually right back after a short break. All right, and I'm back. And uh, sorry, I was a little bit distracted on the last level. The puppy said he had to go out, and I just had to finish it up. But I did want to go back and just look at a couple of the design elements. Um, so on, on Christmas tree here, um, uh, I was just realizing that, of course, um, the toggle doors down here and the yellow doors, and then go over to the other side, um, the, the blue walls and the, uh, the bunch of dirt blocks are all are presents underneath the tree, which I think is really cool. Um, and then there's a bunch of tinsel all around the sides of green and uh, red teleports. So it's a very, uh, a very cool level to look at. Um, and I definitely appreciate the um, very precise symmetry of the tree and all the different ornaments that uh, he chose to include on it, so yeah, all in all, a very cool level to look at. The next level up is Round Trip, and this looks like a 10 by 10, if I'm not mistaken, and a um, one with a lot of uh, 
gender signs here. It says blue teeth run away from Chip but run toward Melinda. Could not agree more. Um, yeah, so what is the purpose of this level? So, for starters, we need that. Oh, we, yeah, we, we do need that. Um, we need him to stand on the button for us. Got to be chip for that. Nice. So I wonder if we, yeah, we will need to be. Well, oh my goodness, we're out of time. See, I forgot to check the time limit. It's only fifty seconds. So it looks like we can. Most of it as chip, but maybe it's faster if we do it as. Oh no, it's not. Here we go. That ah, wasn't too bad. I like the time limit a lot. I think it's very fair. Um, next is Splitsville by JB Lewis. This one is ringing a bell. I may have played this one already. And I think if I'm correct, he said he actually got this puzzle from another game. Um, so there's three buttons. And we need all off switches to be turned on, I'm guessing. And I'm not at all sure how to do this. know if I just kind of um, can guess whether that's likely to work. That gets the middle two on, but what about the last three? Oh, so close. Now the last three all off, so I'm not even sure how to go about solving this.
so close. There's always one. So they're all off to start with. What happens if we press all of them once? Then we end up with this off, so two legs off. And I don't know what happens if we press them all again. And that would turns us to the state where all of them are off. Thought I had it. There it is. And wait, can I assume that you just can go in either either direction here? You know what? I feel like I deserve a thousand point bonus. There it is. Yes, that was uh, a very, very cool puzzle. I'm not sure that I have any idea how it was that I solved it though. I'm sure if I looked at the tracks a little bit closer, I'd know. Um, maybe what the pattern is, but as it was, I felt like I was just kind of spamming buttons at first, and then when I got close, just kind of trying things out, to be honest. I don't know if I'd be able to repeat that. Um, the next level is called Pandemic, and I wonder if we're going to see blobs on slime. Yes, we are, as a matter of fact. We've got some blocks to fight them with. I like that. <laughs> Though I'm not sure I'm doing a good job. Time limit's very generous. This is kind of cool. I think I was just talking to, was it Tyler? About how I've have yet to see blobs on slime done well, but here it was done by JB in a year and a half ago, so I mean, I'm assuming it's done well. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, you actually have to fight them off. Ah. fight the spread of slime faster than the blobs can lay it down. Well, that 
that's just lovely. Well, it looks like some areas remain fairly open. I also wonder if blobs are on deterministic settings here. Yeah, this is tough. I wonder if I just concentrate on getting the chips and not worry about the blocks if that'll be enough. That's a really neat idea that I haven't actually seen in a lot of custom sets, even though I think it's such a, 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 a neat concept, but it's very hard to do well. Um, I think the jury is still out on this one. It's certainly challenging. I'd definitely say I'm glad this level exists. You know, just because it has to, pretty much. Oh, I'm in trouble now. I wonder, too, whether this is just unavoidably a melee level or whether it would be possible to really just start to form a base with the blocks and work your way outward. Level's so big, you can't really be dragging around three or four blocks with you everywhere you go either. Blobs congregating up in that corner. And this is not good. I'm 
I might be in a lot of trouble here. Pandemic is spreading quickly. Fascinating to see how that, how quickly that changes. How quickly you go from a level that's almost all floor to almost all slime. Six chips left if I can just make it. so much trouble. Two chips left. One. Now where's the last one? There it is. No, it's very even a path to the finish. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. careful with my blocks. This will be a lot easier. Okay. No, I don't know is that oh I'm one away. And the time is running out. There it is. Okay. Got through that level. So uh, what a cool concept. And honestly, I did have a lot of fun playing it. And I think that I think that my biggest change would just be to have a, a higher time limit. I didn't like feeling rushed by the clock as well as by the, the slime. Um, it would be kind of cool to be able to play just kind of a campaign mode where you collect all the blocks that you want, get them all together in one, one corner, and just... Uh, move around the level very carefully and methodically. As it was, I felt like I was just rushing for chips, and the fact that I won't beat the level at all uh, it was kind of lucky. Uh, but a, a cool idea. It uh, works better than I actually was uh, expecting it to. So, awesome level. Um, next, it's called Soko Bomb. And the hit says to make sure all the blocks are destroyed be before hitting the green button. And all green walls are fake. Okay. So we got a bunch of fireballs on one side, sitting on four floors. And when you hit the green button, they will all go across here. And I'm presuming that there, it's very important that nothing is in their way. Part of me just wants to go explore for now, so let's see what's on the other side of these. Okay, so all the fireballs need to clear out. Uh, uh, need to clear out all the bombs. Ah, but here's where the level's busted. Because then you take a TNT over here. And drop it right there. And so that's a busted level. And I'm actually going to go back and try to play it correctly. As the designer intended, because I think I see it. Uh, I think I see what he's going after. So we're looking for, for good bomb placement here that will blow up all of the blocks. And it's probably going to be interesting because once you blow up some of them, then you can push the others together into kind of a 
more compact arrangement. So let's just see what happens. Drop them on here. here. And it looks like, yeah, I can absolutely do it. And oh, except that was a bad place. That was bad placement on my part. But I think it's okay, because Drop one here, I should be able to push everything else together. So the idea of this level is really cool, and it's a shame that it's busted because uh, uh, that's really, really fun to play. Now I press this, and all the fireballs come along, destroy every one of the bombs. And that's that's a very cool idea. I'd like to see it done right. Um, the next up is level 7, Train of Thought. And I'll get to this one on my next Let's Play video. Thanks for watching.